Oh, thanks, Printy. What have you been making me? Ooh. 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 Thrust leg mounted thruster. Bracket. Ooh. Just like this one. Thanks, Printy. You shouldn't have. Do you? Um, <laughs> thrusters on here. Um, down through the M8 bolt into the back of the uh, thruster, uh, thruster mount into the bracket. And then basically all this bracket does is hold it to your leg. And then a piece of PVC comes in here. And then we'll secure that with a little self tapper or something. And then I'll strap to my leg. I'd like to see this. Let's see it in shot. In mean, shot. Like, like so. And then I'll cut it off at the top here. Where it goes onto the belt. And then I'll print off another piece that has a like a pin pivot. Uh, same um, webbing, like a seatbelt webbing strap with a pin coming out of it. And then a, another socket that goes on the end of the PVC pipe with a, another nut to hold it all on. And then that'll hold thrust forces. Uh, so that'll transfer the thrust forces from the thruster onto your belt. It should also hold it a bit, uh, stop the torsion a bit, and hold it in position. And then the thrust should be vectored when you move your leg. I don't know. Something like that. I might need a bit of playing with. Um, I didn't bother printing out the um, uh, the hexagonal reference on the that I put on the thruster here. Thought it might be useful um, to have a bit of rotation possible. Um, so at the moment that's just a friction, uh, friction contact with a with a bolt. So it looks good. Um, might I'm just going to use these um, triangular buckles from Thingiverse, easy print ones. But I might, I think I might redesign them, uh, make some of my own because um, of the leg. Like 150 mil, or so it's they're a bit they're a bit long and they're a bit flat. So I think probably I can devise something that would uh, be a bit more curvy and uh, a bit more positive lock as well, because these can release with like kind of accidental contact. So yeah, yeah the, the buckle. I might just use these because I've got them just now. Something like that. And then you have a. Uh, Same deal with the um, uh, the rotary encoder. Just clips on the belt like so. Yes, I'm in mean nutter. And then the battery pack will go at the back somewhere. And the tubes to connect uh, from the encoder to the battery pack, and then the wires for the motors are all wet, so I need to do a, a three-hole connector for them. I'm thinking just a 50 mil tank connector, and then I'll do the same as the SV Seeker ones, just spin in some, uh, some epoxy resin over the the uh, stripped wires. Just seal that. Should be fun.